Live from downtown Detroit, Local 4 News at 6 starts now. The man accused of trying to abduct two children in Macomb County set to go before a judge tomorrow afternoon. Police said the 23 year old tried to take a seven year old in Sterling Heights and a 15 year old just two hours earlier in Clinton Township. Glad you're with us for uh, Local 4 News at 6. I'm Devin Skillion. And I'm Pamela Osborne in for Kimberly Gale. Our Victor Williams talked to the Sterling Heights police chief today about what you or your family members should do if you're ever in a similar situation. Well, this just remains a very shocking story, but we're here right now with Police Chief Dwojikowski in Sterling Heights. Thank you so much for doing this with us. Uh, when you find yourself in a situation like this, we know this one was random, but when you find yourself in a situation like this, what can you do if the people that were present weren't there? Or we can't change the way we live our life, but we can do it smarter, right? And as a parent, I have two boys at home, it's always smart to know where those kids are going, uh, what house they're going to, knowing those parents or where they're hanging out, and if they're on bike or they're walking on foot, you have to know where your kids are at at all times. And this is evidence of that, right? And that aunt being, I mean, the child was 20, 30 yards away. And thank God, it, it just took a, a moment, you know, it, she was looking, she paid attention, and she jumped into action. That's what all parents need to do at a festival, a fair, a walking in a park, or when you let your kids go play. You have to pay attention. Um, but to a certain point, right, you have to let kids play, and you have to let kids be kids. But yes, she was paying attention, and so was our citizen patrol. Drove by, saw this occurring, and stopped. So, uh, so so many people paying attention then in the video we're going to be releasing as well you can see neighbors running from their house to go out there and assess so this is great the community getting involved and people paying attention to their surroundings and once again we'll find out more about this suspect when that arraignment happens uh, we're expecting that once again tomorrow victor williams local four